Broads, I'd just like to say welcome back. Um, Thank you. You're here today. Um, just, I, I'm currently doing my UA for B, uh, I'm in the middle of my UA for B coaching badge, um, and the manager very kindly asked me to, not asked me, offered me to come in and shadow training, have a look round and, and, and take in a game on Saturday, uh, just, just for my own experience and to help progress myself, which I'm very, very thankful of. Yeah, and how's it been so far today on, on your return? It's been great, it's just, just been great to be, not, not back in full yeah, back in full-time football, but especially being back at this football club. Um, but just, just to be in and around, around the club and to, to meet the lads and to, to have a look and see how, see how the manager takes out training and, and see how the lads are. and it, It's been a great great day, a great opportunity that I've, that I've got for the next couple of days. Yeah, I think you know a few of the lads already, don't you? Yeah, and, and like I said before, the, it's a credit to the manager and a credit to the lads the way that they've, they've took to me coming in. Uh, being in one day, um, you know, and it's not... It's not anything other than, at the moment, me coming in and, and just helping progress myself. But to try and to speak to the lads as many as I could, I spoke to them, and you know, so welcome, and, and that's great. It's great. Yeah, and obviously you've had two spells with York as a player. Um, what have you been doing with yourself since? Um, I've had a few clubs since. Um, I think the last time I was here was when when Gary Mills got rid of us on a, on a Thursday before Dover. But no, um, I'm 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 at Scamsdale United as a, as a player coach there. Um, so that's where I've been gaining my last two years' experience as a, as a coach. So, you know, the, the ultimate thing is just for me to carry on and, and see where I can end up. And, you know, again, like a player, you want to play, play and coach as high as you can. So that's what I've been doing at the moment. And, you know, like I said, I got this opportunity and I couldn't be thankful enough, and especially with it being this football club and the memories I've had. And again, I'm, I'm a fan as well. And, you know, whatever club I've played for since the, the first, apart from Sunderland, the first result, I look for York City. Obviously going into coaching management, I guess Steve Watson would be a really good sort of mentor for himself, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, uh, the lads have been have been speaking so highly of him um, as, I've, as I've had a little chat with them all. Um, again, you think you know, the level that he's played at, the, the highest level, let's be honest, against and with the best players. But not just that, that quality he's got, he's, he's a real down-to-earth down to earth gentleman from Newcastle, you know, and it, there's a lot to be said for that. There's a lot to be said about the way he, he treats the lads in, in a good manner, in a positive manner. Um, and, and everyone that I've spoke to in and around has had a good word to say about him, and, you know, and I'm no different. And obviously going into this weekend, big FA Cup game, you've been giving uh, the strikers a few finishing tips? Well, uh, yeah, I've tried my best. Um, it's, again, you know, it was, it was nice to, to do a little bit with the, with the forwards. and um, you know, it, It's good for them as well to see a fresh face. Uh, whether or not my session was good, I don't know. But, you know, it was nice to nice for them to see a fresh face, and you know, I, I did. You know, the lads come up and said thank you, which again, there's a lot to be said in this world for people coming up and saying thank you and cheers for that. that you know, you've got to remember how to speak to people. It's not just having a qualification or having having a bit of paper to say you can do X, Y, Z. You've got to treat people how you want to be treated, and I think a lot of managers and coaches forget that. And you know, I know that the gaffer doesn't.